<laughs> so so star starfield uh, start screen is a problem title screen is a problem <laughs> really <laughs> what's up people another beautiful day yep hope your five senses work health and strength is good or excellent what so starfield uh, start screen is a problem huh already <laughs> But this is one, this is one developer complaining. Listen to this. Find this little article here on Tech for Gamers. Listen to this. Starfield boss call X Blizzard uh, dev, dev unprofessional. <laughs> See if I can get this here. Unprofessional for unfair start screen criticism. Starfield boss call X Blizzard dev unprofessional. For unfair start screen criticism. Notice, X, X Blizzard developer. Anyway, listen to this. Says here the hype for Bethesda's game studio latest RPG nearly reached reach its peaks, with the launch being just a few weeks away. Starfield will be available worldwide September 6, and reviewers have already received codes for the game. However. This has also resulted in leaks, leading to the first look at Starfield main menu screen. While the main while the menu screen does not have much to it, it has led to a massive controversy on Twitter. <laughs> a former Blizzard uh, developer had harsh words for Bethesda Game Studio, claiming that the menu hints at a lack of care from the studio or a rushed design. However, Pete Hines from Bethesda was quick to respond and call the developer unprofessional for his comments. And it says why it matters. User interface and main menu screens are very different from game to game and rarely represents a game quality. Therefore, this criticism was seen as an unwarranted comment from the developer. It says here, uh, as stated earlier, Mark Kearns worked at Blizzard for several years and was involved in games like Diablo 2. Following the Starfield leak, he noted that a menu screen and user interface could tell a lot about any game. He then went on to criticize the aspect of Bethesda's RPG, claiming that it hints at a lack of care or rush development. This was seen as a poor criticism and a nitpicky comment by the developer and many appeared to disagree with Mark Kearns. Various people pointed to minimalistic <laughs> and simple menu screens from games like Elden Rings and God of War. Several Twitter users believe that believe the comparison was made in bad faith since many famous IP have used simple start screen in the past. This discussion also caught the attention of Pete Hines the head of publishing at Bethesda, Pete Hines did not let the criticism slide and was quick to call out Mark Kearns. And then um, he said, uh, hey, next time you and the lovely folks over at Bethesda Game Studio, instead of rushing to make a game with any system uh, factions, choice, and ways to play, I would urge you to only focus on the title screen so you guys won't appear to be hasty or simply didn't care. <laughs> and then Pete Hines says, uh, or they design what they wanted, and that's been our menu for years, and was one of the first things we settled on. Having an opinion is one thing, questioning out a developer's care because you would have done it differently is highly unprofessional, coming from another dev <laughs> then it says your Pete Hine then it says it's all blue Pete Hine says questioning a developer's care because you would have done it differently is highly unprofessional from another dev Kern stated that it is common for star screens to be changed completely when the game is about to go live but Heinz clarified that this menu was designed years ago being one of the first things Bethesda Game Studio settled on. Starfield is the biggest project for the studio, and the developer have worked hard to ensure that it lives up to the promise of a vast universe for players to explore. Then it says here, 
while it remains to be seen if the game will live up to the to live up to these uh, promises early impressions have shown incredible potential with one reviewer claiming that he did not run into any bugs in the first 15 hours of the game hmm. says here uh, as such Pete Hines felt the criticism was uncalled for on the other hand this is not the only controversy surrounding Starfield the popular RPG is facing a review bomb threat ahead of its release however the game is unlikely to be adversely affected by these controversies if it can live up to the promise of Bethesda Game Studios biggest and most ambitious project in several decades and that's the end of the article well can you tell a lot the, the title screen um, you said the title screen can tell a lot about a game Look, some games have good intros, and um, they have the title screen, but then when you start playing the game, you realize the game is not um, up to up to par, so to speak. And some games just have, uh, some, some games, some games have good title screen, good intros, and the gameplay lives up to it. And some have simple uh, title screens, simple intros, but the gameplay is... <laughs> Is, is us off the chart so um, it varies from game to game you know um, you could use uh, <laughs> Batman Arkham Asylum versus versus the Avengers in this comparison and you can tell you can see it you, you can see you can see the difference you know um, the Avengers <laughs> the Avengers had problems in the first in the in the very first stage very first stage on the bridge you can tell that there was all kind of problems wrong with the game um, especially when they had even before you got to the bridge like they had you running around looking for clues you know and then Iron Man he walks out on stage and yeah you can tell there was problems then when you got to the bridge scene you can see that there was a lot of problems wrong with the game like something is off something is not right and then when you got to the city, <laughs> and then you're going down, going down the city, you see all these buildings, and you're looking through them. You can see the inside, but you can't fly to the top of them. <laughs> you know, Batman Arkham Asylum was different. The only problem I had with Batman Arkham Asylum is that you couldn't latch your um, that little grapple hook, that little that little grappling hook, to any part of the environment, or you couldn't like hop like on a rail and then sit there for as long as you want. And decide to do what you want to do, or you couldn't do like this. But besides that, um, uh, Batman Arkham Asylum um, was actually better than the Avengers, <laughs> in my opinion, um, because I mean you had to take the Joker to the um, what the Arkham Asylum in the Batmobile, and he was riding shotgun, <laughs> not in the back seat, shotgun side by side with Batman. So yeah, and then when he got there, you had to walk him all the way. <laughs> to where the Joker uh, finally uh, where they told Batman he couldn't go any further and then Joker pretended like he was sick and then he took out the uh, you know the people that work at the facility and then him and then he took over the asylum but yeah but even that that was even that was that 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 scene between carrying um, the Joker in the Batmobile and then walking him all the way down to where the the uh, the medical professions took over, that showed you that you was in for a long ride. So, um, can you tell from a um, title screen if the game is gonna be good? Uh, I mean, it's a it's a toss up, you know. It's a toss up. I mean, um, look at metal. Look at metal gear. Look at metal gear. Uh, Look at Metal Gear uh, Sons of Liberty. Or, or even look at Metal Gear Solid. Sons of Li Liberty or Metal Gear Solid. Either or. You know? Good intros. Good title screens. Yeah. And both of them games lived up, lived up to it. So, 
Um, it depends, you know. It's like to me, it's like a toss-up, you know. Splinter Cell, same thing. It's a toss-up. So, to me, I, I think this. Um, to me, I think this Dev is just mad. He's he's not there to witness, to witness this. You know, that's why the title says X de X developer. You know, um, and then you got another person says they played the game for 15 hours and no bugs within the first 15 hours. That's impressive. So yeah, um, that's pretty good. You know, so um, we'll have to wait till the game comes out September the 6th. But you know, some games title title screens. What's this? Title screens or intros. <laughs> Our main menu, um, you know, um, it depends, you know, you know, you can't, you can't tell until you start playing the game and then you'll find out, uh, I mean, I mean, some game, some games have good presentation, but then when you play it, 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 it has a good buildup, you know, and it, there's some that has good, a good title screen, good intro, but then the game is missing some, some key ingredients, you know, so. Yeah, it's a toss-up, man, to tell you the truth. Based on what uh, the former dev is complaining about, it's really a toss-up. And um, to me, uh, um, if this formula has been working for Bethesda all these years, like they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, if, they, if they've been working this long on the game, and then you have one person say they're playing for 15 hours and then no bugs... I mean, the game is going to be really worth it, you know? Yeah. Just saying, but... Fifth <laughs> title screens, you can tell a lot by the title screen. I mean, of course, I mean, you got to have a good intro, but at the same time, after the intro, they, you have to, um, like, what, set the scene on the first, the very first stage. You have to set the scene. In the Avengers... You <laughs> in the Avengers, man, um... You could tell there were problems because, I mean, uh, Iron Man and and um, Thor, they were limited in their flights. You know, um, it, it's, you couldn't you couldn't like jump on the top of a like like a vehicle that was parked or jump over it. It was just all kind of problems. You could see you could see it from the very beginning. You know, from the time they had you looking for clues in the, in that little, in that little, uh, that little park or that little uh, fair or, or convent, uh, carnival or whatever, they had you looking for clues. You could tell that there was something wrong about the game. You, know, you could tell. So, but um, <clears throat> as um, and then as you kept playing, as you kept playing it, and then when you got to the bridge, and then you're realizing that you're limited in a lot of things, and you're like. It still didn't hit you yet, <laughs> but then when you got on the you got in the city and then you're on the streets and you're flying up the building and you realize you're limited and you're like, okay, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> you know, so yeah, some games you can tell it, man, but others you have to play it to see it's to see if the game uh, lives up to it. But I think the title screen, based on what they're showing here, um, but it's showing like the Earth and then it's showing like the sun, so. Um, or is that the moon, whatever? But it looks it looks pretty good, you know. So maybe maybe this dev is just mad because um, he's not there, you know, to witness this. I think that's what this what this all boils uh, what this all boils down to, you know. Um, I think he he's I think he's unhappy that he's not there, you know, to witness this, you know, a game that they he probably he, he probably was there when they when they when they were working on it from the when they were trying to put it together, but he was not there on the final, uh, like, like he, he's, he's not there on the final day when they, when they, when they plan on releasing it, uh, uh globally, you know, so, and I think that part even hurts more, you know, that you were a part of a, like, part of a company such as Bethesda, they've been working on this game for several decades, and then they, they finished the game now, and the game is about to be released on September the 6th. And as a dev, you're not there to to witness it. That's just my thoughts on the whole thing. But yeah, <laughs> that's why I think this this where all this uh, 
criticism is coming from is that that de that developer is not there to witness this, you know, to wi to witness this ac this uh, accomplishment or he probably was there from the very beginning when they were working on the game. But then now he's not there now. That's why it says X developer. He's not there now to witness the launch of uh, Starfield. That's just my thoughts on the whole thing. Anyway, I'll leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still Star Wars and Star Trek playing. Bored, Darth Sykes. Go. Peace.